Ladies and gentlemen, it finally happened. We have the world's number one Yasuo, P. Zhang, up against the best gangplank in the world, Solo Baka. As in Korean fashion, level one first blood for no reason. In Korea, the two teams, it's a phenomenon, they'll run down mid lane and they'll battle their heads against each other just like, mm, until someone dies. P. Zhang goes down, burns his flash. Now this is going to be a little bit of a crazy one. Please subscribe to my channel, gentlemen. I just saw my grandma. She said, hey, Drew, how's the YouTube going? I saw you're not even at 500,000 subscribers yet. Mm, okay, grandma. Boys, please, let's prove grandma wrong. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. Hit that little sub. Hit a thumbs up. And I'd really appreciate it. Um, so Solo Barker, he got, he got Challenger in Korea. And surprisingly, he actually plays a lot of Gangplank mid. I versed him and I said to myself, uh, this guy's kind of good at Gangplank. As you see, the rank one play in Korea. Let me sup. Ole. Come sir. Um, this is going to be a crazy game. We've got Malphite. We've got Yasuo. We've got Alistar. We've got so many knockups. And then you have the best gangplank in the world. He starts E, okay? I noticed this in my games. He starts E, and then he'll like... Every time you go to move up, he uses these barrels for the speed to kite. Proc his passive, or simply hit you. Like, he, he plays a very smart gangplank as he misses everything here. P. Zhang, I actually played... I played with both these players. Weird flex. Um, his Yasuo is crazy. Like, if you allow this guy to get a lead on Yasuo, he's going to 1v9. He's not like other players in the Korean server. He's different. And it's crazy to think, like, in Challenger, there's players that are separated, like, from the Challenger normal players, but he is so different. It's crazy the mechanics this guy has. He pulls a freeze. Level 2. We're running TP, by the way. Solo Barker has Ignite and Flash. Huge advantage for Solo Barker in the early game. He better utilize it because once we hit two items, P. Zhang gonna run over his, his ass like a train. In game. See the two spacing as... Back and forth and back and forth. You'll see a lot of the top high elo players do this. It's simply getting in and out of the attack range or lethal range as... Jarvan comes through. I think this Jarvan is Clid, maybe? He's a very high elo jungle. I played them earlier today. He entered. A lot of the pros in Korea will int. They don't care. They're playing to practice, not to win, and they will int. Trust me. P. Zang comes through. Jesus Christ. The Rel jungle. The Rel Alistar puts the wards through. I think Gangplank, at the moment, oh my god, mid, oh my, look, do you see Solar Barker? He might go for a solo here. Flash, Ignite, Auto, Q. Solo Barker with the 1v1 solo onto P. Zhang, number one Yasuo in the world. Did he have a huge advantage, Drew? Yes. Do I care? Not really, that was pretty good. Outspaced him, outtraded him. And if P. Zhang wants to win this, he's going to have to do something crazy in the mid game. We check in on the bot lane. Does P. P. Zhang stop the base? Look at look at this. Oh, yeah. The, this, what just happened there is why I, is like, I don't care about the kill bot. This is what I love. I just need to show this again, right? Okay. So we screwed up, right? We screwed up. And Faker, Bay, all these top players will do this in Korea. And this is, I always lose because of this. So he'll TP back in, right? He'll pull the wave. He doesn't have vision yet. He doesn't have vision. He has visions now. He, he's going to win wall so the minions don't hit him. Q, stop the base. And he'll come back. He knows Gangplank doesn't have TP. He'll freeze the wave. There's more minions on this side than this side. He's going to push back and this whole wave is denied from Solar Barker. Half a kill's worth of gold. Plus the XP. Do you like this this like brain shit? Doesn't matter how many stupid solo kills you get. These top tier players are gonna beat you in XP and farm. And then when there's one opportunity in the mid-game, they get it and they win the game. It's I can't keep up with players like this. I can't keep up. So Solar Barker will come down and he'll be 15 CS behind. Now if he gets ganked here because he has no flash, it's GG. Let's see the Rel looking for the wraparound. Solo Barker wants to break the freeze. If he dies here, I'm not even kidding. It's over. Comes in. Stun lands. I don't think they have the damage numbers. They're going to back up. If he died there, bro, it was going to be a roughie for him. 
The wave's still in such a good spot. Twenty CS lead here in the mid lane, and it's not getting any better. Rakan's gonna come and help him break this freeze. The Jarvan even hovering. Bank Plank just utilizing that passive movement speed. We're almost level six. I don't know if... Look at the spacing, bro. Windwall's the Q. He's going to be 6 right now. Let's see if he goes for the all-in. Goes in. Has the tornado. Auto. EQ. R. Gangplank instant W cleanses the ultimate, by the way, if you didn't know. And we get 10 CS a minute. We're going to... Hit that base. He should have enough for the Berserker groups here. As... We are looking to get on top of the Zaya, aren't we all? Stun comes through. Zaya doesn't go down. Gangplank. Solabaka puts the ultimate down on the bot lane. And... Dude. This is perfect for the Gangplank. It's so annoying. Pizang stayed on the wave, by the way. Oh my god. Gangplank gets another assist. Does he have... Gangplank has Treasure Hunter, Futures Market... Oh my god, he just got so much gold. He has 200 more gold than P. Zhang. And he's 30 CS behind. But the Malphite's gonna come in with the ultimate. Gets the slow, P. Zhang flash, auto Q, gets the kill. Okay, now we have an even battle on our hands, thank god. I wanted this game to get a little bit even, and it looks like we may just get it. Malphite ult. I relate to his name a little bit. Want to be young. Aww. How much gold is this bad boy? He's sitting on he's sitting on two thousand gold here. Berserker Greaves, and he's going to finally be able to start pressuring in some of these one v ones. He's looking at the map state. Enemy team has Tom Kench. I don't know what about I don't know about the the Tom Kench is going to eat the person who gets Malphite altered. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. Um. So we'll zoom back into the mid lane. It gives a little bit of speed. I want some 1v1s in the side lane. Solabaka has his flash, has his ignite now. Clean wall, of course. Clear the vision out. And do you see how he sets this up? If we E in... Oh, wait. We're baiting. Alistar looking for the headbutt. Does he land it? He flashes. Ultimate cleanse. Barker used instantly W flash. And that means he is so vulnerable that for the next 5 minutes. Or 4 minutes and 35 seconds. Depending on if he has... The... Oh, Rel. Does he have? Yes. Someone on Reddit was complaining that everyone goes Cosmic Insight these days for the CDR. Essentially, you have Flash 35 seconds earlier to somebody that doesn't run it. Oh. Nice trade. Um, it's probably like the best rune in the game. Having your flash 35 seconds earlier than your opponent is game changing. That's why everyone in pro play runs it. Don't get it twisted. Lucidity boots. Cosmic insight. The CDR is just... Like, it's... So valuable. It's hard to put an amount on it. As we are 90 CS at 9 minutes. Solar Barker is 40 CS at 9. He's been hard ganked though, so you got to give him a little bit of forgiveness. He only has a 200 gold lead. It's just Gangplank generates too much gold in my opinion. I hate Gangplank. I despise the champion. But that's our story for another day. We have ultimate. Look at the Jarvan. Jarvan's hovering just in case. Solabaka actually plays... Um, I know he plays Yasuo used to as well, so he definitely knows the intricacies of the matchup. As mid lane in Challenger Korea, I've noticed, it's simply... 
The jungle and support, like, if you're not paying attention to their roamings, their back timings... Like, if you see the enemy sup base in bot lane, in 30 seconds, they're gonna be mid lane. If you don't respect that, you die every time. Trust me. I versed the best subs on the server, the best chunks. Kyria, I've played with Ona. I've played with them all. I know how they operate. It's a party in the mid lane after every base. Careful, or you go to 0 10. I don't make the same mistake I did. As we are pretty close, even game. Gangplank ultimate. Q R P Zane grabs the kill on the gangplank. Ole's late. The gangplank ult comes out. And the Jarvan doesn't get the spacing onto the Yasuo. And God, we got a We got a game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. The Yasuo. 1500 gold to spend. He's back to base now. No, he's gonna shove one more to try and deny. See, Solobaka not running the teleport gives P Zang this massive advantage. He's able to influence the map so much better. Um, yes, you can gangplank ult, but when you're 112 to 60 CS, double CS at 11, like, come on. You, that's not allowed. It's simply not allowed to happen. As we're going to check up onto the Tom Kench matchup. p -Zang TP's in. Tom Kench is going to ult out, but p -Zang just going to clean him up here. Gets the assist, actually. And he has his crack in now. Solabaka kind of lost. Does he go for the plates? Does he roam? Let's see what he does. He could have a plate by now, but he greets. We're backing on a ward. He thought Pizang might run down, so he's going to try and cheese him. So we hit that base, hit the crack in. And now it is looking to be a dragon fight. And I think I think blue side, the Pizang side, is going to win every fight from here on. Yes or no? You have Alistair Realm Malphite with infinite damage, Kaisa Yasuo. I think the composition is absolutely insane. You can see Malphite playing with his dinner. The flash ult. Oh, the stopwatch. Q timing's perfect. P Zang picks up his third. Solo Barker. The NA gangplank just doesn't have enough in the tank. And this might be a bit of an overextension here. Let's see. Flash in. Jarvan comes over. p -Zang wants to try and stop. Oh, the alley knocks the Jarvan back into the tower. Now, we got to play this really slow. Jesus, this is a good game. I'm not going to lie. Goal is to shove the mid lane wave in and reset. Oh. This pivot. p -Zang looks for the... 1v2, but Malphite is hovering. Malphite has ult to get ult again. Pizang ult in 20. Jesus. I can't believe Solobark is not respecting the Jung Sup roams. And we <laughs> look how confident my boy is. Look how confident he is on this Yasuo. He knows he's got a lead and he is going to make a montage with it. Might even go across, steal these chickens. Yep. It's the QR. Misses the Q, forces Jarvan Flash. Gonna hover in. Grab that 10 gold from Gangplank Battle. It's pretty solid. Oh. Oh. Malphite doesn't have ultimate, but they're looking for the dive. Alistar Hexplash coming through. Is it going to land? Headbutt. Stunned. Gangplank ult comes through. It's not enough. He might take down the Rel. He doesn't. Jarvan ultimates. That Jarvan wants a piece of this. Dude, this is Korean Solid. This is how hectic he is. And Pizang Flash Q. He's going to head back here. We 7,000 gold on Pizang. Only 5,000 on Barka. And you have to respect the Ali Rel dives. In Korea as a mid laner, if you don't respect the dive here, you are dead. Every time. I always try and think in my head, I'm going to try and outplay. And then it's like, I'm just dead, dead, dead. There's too much CC. The towers are too weak. These, these champions do too much. 
So we're clocking over 10 CS per minute. We're the seven, dude, we're 600 gold bounty, 2,500 gold in the inventory. And he's even looking like he wants to take this red. That dude, so aggressive here from my boy P. Zank. Heading back, finally gonna spend a little bit of gold and maybe drop into the side lane. I think side lane farm and then every objective just group for the Malphite ult. So we make our way towards the infinity edge. Barker is a top player. He is, he plays top lane gangplank, but he does play a lot of mid lane gangplank. I played against him when I played maybe about two weeks ago. He played gangplank mid, played very well. He definitely does play it. And P Zang plays top lane. When I played with him, he played top Yasuo in my game. And we did like an equal carrying, some people said. Like, he's like, I, I said, you carry. He's like, no, all play good. I, I, I agree with him, as we have enough of the IE. We're going to base. Now, I want to see. Ooh. I was going to say, I want to see some gangplank versus Yasuo in side lane, but. Tom Kench, for some reason, thinks he can take on Kraken Yasuo. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It... I... Genuinely just think the Kraken build on like Yone and Yasuo is broken. I don't know any other champion that can like gather as much stats from this shit. Like they just seem so strong. And now I feel bad for Barker because of how much gold this guy's just got. He has 180 farm at 16 minutes. He might flame horizon the gangplank. So he sees the Tom TP and he says, I might take a third tower actually and an inhibitor. And your entire base. We check in. They're all trying to get their bases off. He's saying end in the game, bro. He doesn't get he doesn't care. He's sitting on 2100 gold. Topside inhib is very valuable. I'm not going to be able to hit that base there. Jesus Christ. There's only 2k gold lead for blue side despite all of this. They can definitely turn the game. I want to see what this buy is, bro. Infinity Edge. He's going to make his way in towards the Bloodthirster. You're about to see a montage. There's no way. Like, this is just going to be gross at how strong this guy is right now. He makes his way in. There's no Malphite here to get the knockups. He's looking for a 2v4. Three v4. I didn't see the rail sitting in the pit. And we're gonna grab that dragon for ourselves. And all P Zang wants to do now is fight. Fight, fight, fight. Dude, chill. Chill. Gangplank barrels go wide. Gangplank's not even level 13 yet. You need level 13 on Gangplank to do anything crazy. And we might just see a straight up Korean dive here, gentlemen. Ultimate. Yasuo. Malphite. We're fighting between towers. Dash, 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 dash. EQ, he goes down. He gives a, a thousand gold bounty over to Solabaka. The ultimate, he gets two kill. And Barker just absolutely got so fed. In classic Yasuo fashion, Pizang not normally does this. He doesn't normally do this, but he does. He gives a billion gold over to the one person you don't want to. The best gangplank in the world. He's going to hit level 13 as well. This game might get spicy. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. This game might get spicy from here. 80 carry. Zaya's over 10 CS minute. We've got a scaled gangplank. We have tank Jarvan Tom into the AoE 5-on-5 five five comp. This is going to be a little bit interesting. How much is he? He's heading to back to a 1700. Pizang needs a little bit of a juice up before the Bloodthirster. And then there's... Trust me, I know I know I know Korean Solicu enough now. 
they will just permanently start Baron and just look to bait fights. That's all they'll do from here. They move into the Baron pit, they'll sweep it, they'll start it, and they'll just bring it out. It's like, it's just... I don't know why, like, this is the meta in Korea. You just, 20 minutes, you meet at Baron Pit, and you decide the game with a fight. Jarvan Flash. This is big. Jarvan, no Flash. Malphite Ultimate, P-Zang. Wait, p is dead. p is dead. Oh my god, the throw. Oh my god, the throw. They've, red team, a 2k gold lead. They could FF this game from here, dude. They legitimately could FF this game. What's gonna happen from the Baron swing? Dragon spawning two minutes. They're gonna look for a siege. How did the game go from P-Zang taking their base, looking like GG, into one fight lost, one overextension, into Baron lost, it's over. Shield bow completed for P-Zang, not Bloodthirster, sorry. Shield bow completed. Three items. No flash. That Tom Kench last fight just ate him. Solar Barker with the uh, Essence, Navori, Lord Dominix. Berserker Greaves on Gangplank? Is that correct? Not Ninja Tabai. You could, somebody get this man on a call. I just don't. I've never seen this before in my life. Am I crazy? Hey, Julie. Got, I'm just gonna say maybe he's gonna regret that. That's some weird ass. That's some weird ass boots into this comp. But hey, I don't play gangplank. I don't know. Fun fact: I have one professional gangplank game as a prof as a pro player. I didn't know how to triple barrel, and my teammates was. I, I asked my teammates, "Hey, how do you triple barrel?" When I was playing in a pro game on stage, it was so embarrassing. I didn't play Gangplank, he just came out in like season 6 or 7, like the rework, and my coach is like, yeah, this champion's OP, pick it. I'm like, I can't play it. He's Then then they picked it from my top lane, and my top lane said, it's bad, and then they said, Midbeast, you take it. I'm like, no, I don't want it. I had to play it, first time, didn't know how to triple barrel, GG. I played against like, Dire Wolves, it was like Fantix, like perfection, as p -Zang gets caught there once again, I'm gonna, gonna skip over that, because p -Zang inting and making me embarrassed here. I played against like the best team, bro, and I got absolutely spanked. It was embarrassing. I hope there's no footage of it. Got paid like two hundred dollars though, so hey, who's laughing now? Old middle beast uh, professional days. Little bit of uh, P Zang has entered. Solar Barker Gangplank is bopping them, and this is just looking like they're gonna run through and end the game, gentlemen. Look at how much damage they have. Alistar gonna almost go down, not quite. Ignite coming through, will finish him off. Now P Zang. Please, please, bro, please wait for the Malphite ult, and you might have a chance to win this game. If you keep going in on by, one by one by one by one by one, you will lose the game. Trust me, you will lose. Um a little bit of a spicy review, I'm not gonna lie. 7k, 6k separates the two teams. Solar Barker and P Zhang have equal gold. They're equal. No flash on the Yasuo though. It feels like all his tempo has been ripped from him though. Still working on that 100 CS lead. Gangplank. What the hell just happened? Sick. Bark is on 2,000 gold. You really need to spend that. p with the stopwatch. Don't need to triple barrel that one. True. Enemy Zaya has stopwatch now. Oh! 
Wait a second. Malphite ult comes through. I'm not even gonna lie. There's no there's like no good gangplank mains in Korea. And I swear, like, oh, maybe they found him this time. Okay, finally. CC, CC, ultimate. Okay, Rel eats the Barker shutdown. Okay. Enemy team is eating the base, though. Uh, this macro is not worth it. This macro is. Um, they have a 30 second window. Malphite has TP, but no ultimate. Rakan going in. Where's P Zhang? Where's P Zhang? He's ordering the Jarvan. He gets the knock up. Huge alley ult. P Zhang. Does he get the knock up? Doesn't. Have ultimate still, and he's not able to get it. That looked a little bit dicey for a second. I'm not going to lie. Making me nervous. They're going to chase. Malphite ultimate coming up in 15 seconds. P Zhang. P Zhang. He's going in. He lands the Q. Ah, oh, he gets it. Gets behind. Gets the Rakan. Is he able to get the Zaya? They do get the Zaya. They get the Tom Kench. Jarvan makes his way out. Barker finally spawned. Jesus Christ, Korea. Jesus Christ. It should be fine. The only objective they can get is Baron in 40 seconds. Also, it's funny to note, no Korean jungler was playing this tank CDR Jarvan. Aguren came in, stomped the server with it. Every game in Hilo is Jarvins with this cringe build. Did Aguren influence in chat, or do you think it was just OP and they finally like they finally caught on? I think he definitely influenced it some somewhat. It's gonna make P Zhang's life hard though. Frozen Heart on the Jarvan. How the hell do you play Yasuo, bro? How the hell do you play this champ? As we head back to base, we have enough for the GA. Four items on Yasuo. Double pink ward. Four items on Yasuo, four items on Gangplank. We have a hundred CS lead, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Flame Horizon on the NAGP at 27. Does it matter? No. Gangplank has the same amount of gold. It's fine. Alright. Coming into the Baron fight, what looks to be the last fight. We have Flash on Malphite, Ult on Malphite. Flash on Yasuo, Ult on Yasuo. Flash on Rel. We kill this Gangplank, we kill this Zaya, we win the game. Let's see how they fight it. AP Kaisa, a couple of W's coming through. Oh my god. This is tense. Wait for the knockups, wait for the knockups. P Zhang, I don't think he's gonna use the first knockup for the ultimate. I mean, he might just wait. Let's see. Stacks the Q, goes in slowly. Slow. Dragon spawning in 40 seconds. It's not the soul, so it doesn't really matter. So they sweep, head in. Oh my god, this game. My anxiety. I think that just Malphite just wants to ult, but like he knows he can't. Rel, finally. The Malphite ult is Zaya ulted. Rel hits the ultimate. Rakan goes in. Gangplank ult comes out. This is terrible. P Zhang is still untouched, though. Windwall blocks all the Zaya hits. E, Q, E. P Zhang, the GA pocked. Oh, he needs to live. He flashes the Q, E. So Labaka goes down. P Zhang gets the ultimate. Needs to kill the Zaya. Does he get the crits? The Q. Does he kill? He gets one. He gets two. They take down the Zaya 30 minutes in. They have a wave, ladies and gentlemen. Is that enough to end the game? I think it is. I think it is. I don't even know, bro. It's enough to end the end. GG. Uh, I mean, this has been one hell of a game, ladies and gentlemen. Came down to a 30 minute ARAM as per usual. And uh, P Zhang versus Solobaka. Jeez, that was eventful. Roller coaster. Your pay for the admission will be a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Good night.